Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Na 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 na. Rocky Christmas Day in the car. Cat, 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 cat. You want So I came out to feed the worms, and uh, I guess I opened that lid, and look at they're all clumping up at the top here. You can see them in there. Look at all those worms. Over here, they're climbing out the backside. We don't want that. Uh, I hope they had enough food, and that they're just leaving because there's so many. Let's kind of dig in here and look, take a look, huh? Oh, we got a lot in here still. Oh man, that's quite a bit of worms. Look at that. So, it actually looks like there's still a lot of worms in the bin. There is just probably too many worms. I've been talking about splitting this and I think it looks like it's about time that we actually make a second bin. And uh, kind of just half this one. Start a new bin and see if we can get two full bins of worms because there's a lot of worms and a lot of them are trying to escape so uh we got a lot of worms to our ratio of our bin and uh we're gonna throw some more food in there to make sure they kind of draw back down in there and stay in the bin we don't want them to get out oh worms i got some banana for you i know how much you love it i know how much you love the worms Worms love bananas. Worms love bananas. Come here, little horde. There's never really a great way to show you guys this little bin, <laughs> what we're doing with it. But I threw a bunch of bananas in there, peels, a couple overripe bananas, and just some slices that the kids didn't eat from scraps from breakfast. So I'm just gonna mix it into the soil here. And one thing I've learned is a worm farmer is uh, you just can't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Where have I heard that before? And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Ah! Man, it is a super windy day. Of course, this is my first day off in like two weeks or so. And uh, yeah, of course it would be like raining all morning, hail, and now we dealing with super crazy winds. You might hear them rattle the greenhouse a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna check real quick and see if there's any water in the bottom of this bin, because I wanna get it out of there. So yeah, we got a little bit of water in the bottom there. Not too much, and this is really, really strong worm tea. Uh, but I'm gonna put it in the greenhouse, because we got some kale and some lettuce. This is like still going in here, so we gotta water all that stuff. So being that it's so cold and windy outside, the kids have been inside kind of all day hanging out. Did some coloring pages. Lots of coloring been going on today. And E has been working on this super cool little, she's calling it a witch's shop or magical shop or something like that. It's very cool. It's something like a scene from Harry Potter. I'm so proud of always seeing the creativity that that girl has, man. She is always doing little craft projects like that. It just always amazes me because they just turn out so well. And I was like, man, I gotta buy all this art craft stuff, but you know what? Every single penny I've spent has been totally worth it because she just does such excellent little artwork and stuff with them. And she makes cool little things for her brothers that they love. It's awesome. I bet you didn't know that before you tuned into this video, not only were we gonna get a bunch of seed swap stuff, but you were gonna get a whole bunch of worm content. 
So as I'm out here working the worms a little bit, I thought I'd show you guys. Look at that. So this is like a full size worm or like one of the more mature ones that we have. And you can see this right here. It's just a little baby worm, little baby worm. These are Oski's uh, little favorite ones. I had to get him out here when we do another feed in next week because he loves working these worms and he likes finding those little tiny baby ones and they're so cool. You guys probably can't see it very well, but. There we go, that's a little better. So I recently got some mail also, which brought me all about this seed swap and stuff. I was super, super pumped about. Check this out. This is a picture one of our viewers sent of these flower seeds that they gave us and a big old pack of seeds. I am so thankful, really, honestly. I love, love the fact that you guys will send us mail. This is from, I'm gonna say it's Jenny. Jenny, is this from Jenny? <laughs> Somewhere in Tennessee. I'm hoping it's Jenny, that's what the signature says, but I thought this was such a cool little story. This is seeds from her Mima that gave her from her garden in Coal City, Indiana over 30 years ago. 30 years ago. And she's been growing them everywhere that she's ever lived. When she moved from Indiana to Tennessee, she wasn't sure they'd be happy, but they thrived. And she is, says she's happy to share them with us and that our channel has brought so much joy to her. And honestly, that just uh, gets me. I love when you guys do stuff like this and send us little things. It's like the uh, icing on the cake, you know? It just makes all of this even more worth it. Even if we just touch one person and one person gets a little bit of a enjoyment out of our videos or a little bit of inspiration, whatever, it's just, even if it's one person, uh, it makes such a difference and it makes these videos totally, totally worth doing. So these seeds are actually dark purple double column, columbine. I hope I'm saying that right. Very, very pretty. I absolutely love the color of these. And my mom is a huge purple fan, so I maybe will send some over to her because she might like it. All right, well, now that we hijacked the video with a bunch of worm content, P.S., if you guys enjoy worm content, comment down below that you want to see more of it, and uh, we'll do some more videos with the worms. But I know why you guys are here. You're here because it is time. It is time to release the pink envelope of seeds. If you guys are new to our channel, maybe you don't know yet, maybe you haven't seen it, maybe somehow you missed it all of last year, but every winter we do a traveling seed swap. I think it's a lot of fun, I really enjoy doing it, and one of the coolest things I think about it is that I'm taking a lot of seeds that I either use from different companies, uh, or I'm giving you seeds that I have from my personal collection that I've been saving out of things I've grown in my own garden. I stuff this envelope as jam-packed as I can, and then I select one of you guys who comments on this video right here. This is the seed swap rule. So what I do is I stuff this thing jam-packed full of seeds, as many as I can fit in here. I pick somebody from the comments of this video, and Friday I will message them to send me an email, whoever's randomly picked, one person, and I will get an address and all that via email from you guys, then I'll send this out. You will take whatever seeds you want out of it. If you empty this package, just let me know that you're not gonna mail it back. But <laughs> I want you to take as many seeds out of here as you want, whatever varieties sound interesting to you, whatever it is that you want, take it out of here. Then I want you, if you have seeds that you would like to swap with us so that we can grow your garden next year, put them in here, mail it back to me, and then we just keep the cycle going. So it goes out to somebody, one of our viewers, one of our many lucky viewers, and then it gets mailed back. I repackage it and we make another video for it and we send it back out. So last year, this thing actually made it out to, I think it was like 16 or 17 different people, purple, uh, pink envelopes, 17 different people were involved in the seed swap last year. It was a big thing, it was going pretty well. So. I enjoy doing it. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's just something fun and we all look forward to do things in the winter. Something to keep our garden interests sparked and I think this really helps a lot. So you can see here I actually got some new seeds that I just got from uh, Mary's Heirloom Seeds. If you guys don't follow her at all, she has a YouTube channel. Great information. If you don't buy seeds from her, shame. For shame. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Mary's and everything she does over there. She is awesome. She grows a ton of the seed herself, which is something I highly respect when people grow a lot of their own seed stock. 
and uh, she just has great prices and great great stuff. I mean, everything that she sells is great. I have never had any kind of problems with them. Got all sorts of cool stuff in this year's little uh, tiny haul here. I don't know if we'll do a haul video or not. Are you guys interested in seed haul videos? Those did pretty good last year also. And it is that time where we're all we're worried about mostly. Most of us northerner people, sorry to all you in the warm south who get to garden all the year long. We don't have that luxury up here. So all we can do in this winter time is dream and look at seeds. It's also seed catalog season coming soon. So look at this, I got this red curry squash. I'm a huge squash fan. Uh, many reasons they produce like crazy they're awesome uh you could do a lot of stuff with them they can take flavors if you want to you know spice them up change them up uh so that's uh, i'm a huge squash fan for that reason and i also have this tennessee sweet potato squash that i got from her two new squash varieties that i've never grown i got enough for me to grow them and one of you guys to grow them all right, well, that is gonna be it, guys. That's a video, real quick kind of a video for you. Hope you got, hope you enjoyed the worm content, and of course, seed swap, it's on its way. Let's do this. I wanna have a big seed swap success this year. I really like to get this thing kind of moving, almost like in like a weekly basis, where I make a video, pick somebody, mail it out, and I get it back within that same week, because then I can keep this thing moving a lot faster, and we can try to hit a lot more people this year. I'd really like to exchange seeds with as many people as possible, and hopefully uh, at one point we have enough seeds we can just kind of give some away and get some new people started at gardening. Give them a good seed collection. As you guys can see here, I have been building my seed collection like crazy. I got seeds all over the house. Uh, they're just falling out of everything. <laughs> all you seed savers know this time of year. Little plates and napkins everywhere. You can't pull anything without worrying. There might be seeds on it drying out and waiting to go, right? So comment down below if you guys are interested in the seed swap in having a chance to get the magical pink envelope of seeds and uh come friday i will pick somebody from the comments and i will message you so keep an eye out for friday morning ish uh see if you get a message from me asking for your asking for you to message me your address on email but that's it that's all i got for you guys enjoy the rest of your day all right, well, if you guys make it this far, you know what I'm going to say. Be bold, grow bold, and as always, I'm going to see you in that very next video.